Hey, our friends, today we're going to draw what? A sandal. Sandals, flip-flops mm -hmm. for summer. You. You like flip-flops? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're really comfortable. I wear them all the time. <laughs> we hope you guys are going to follow along with us. You got your art supplies ready. What do they need for this lesson? Marker. Marker, paper. Paper. And something to color with. Coloring. Coloring. Color. <laughs> so get all those supplies together. You can pause the video, get them together, and then start it up when you're ready. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right, first step. We're gonna start by drawing the straps on our sandals. So we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw both of them too. So we're gonna repeat the same steps, but we're gonna flip them for each sandal. So watch this. We're gonna draw a upside down V, but it's curved. Watch this, it's curved. See how it's curved. Curved. <laughs> so we'll start there, go up, nah, back down. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Now we can draw the rest of it. We're gonna draw a curving back down and in on both sides. Yeah. Now we're gonna start here. This is really fun. We're gonna start right here. We're gonna put a line first. We're gonna draw the, the straps and, and they twist on the end. So we're gonna draw the first strap over here. Watch this, when we get close, we're gonna go into it like that. So it's nice and smooth. Yeah. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's twisting right here on the sides. Now we can draw the other side or the end of it. We're gonna come out right here and like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> then on the ends, we're gonna curve and connect both sides. Oh, it looks like a strap on a flip flop, doesn't it? Yes. Now we're gonna draw the part that goes in between your toes. We're gonna draw two lines coming straight up. Well, diagonal. And then we're gonna curve it at the top to connect them. All right, now we need to draw the, the flip-flop part, the part you stand on. So it looks like a foot or a shoe. <laughs> so we're gonna start here. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up and around and then connects to the other side. It looks like an upside down U and if you want to keep it simple, I kind of have it straight on the inside. What? You did it. <laughs> You did it. It looks perfect. Okay, now it, there's a big space right here, so yeah. you might have really long toes, and that's okay. <laughs> like this long. Yeah, super long. <laughs> now we're going to draw the rest of it. So this part right here, we're going to come in where the arch is. So we're just going to draw a little curve. We want to make it look like it's going through and then out the and connect to the other side. Then if we want, if there's enough room, we could do a little one on this side too. <laughs> now, <laughs> it looks awesome. Now we're going to draw the heel. So we're going to imagine that line going behind the strap, coming down, around, and then back up. Minor size tens. Well, actually baby size. <laughs> so we're just drawing a U, the letter U. I love your sandals so much. I Mine love is size they're, like 20,050. <laughs> 20,050? Yep. That's a poor giant. <laughs> I like it. No, let's practice. We're going to repeat the same steps oh, no. for left foot. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that's why we practice. We can, do, we can repeat the same steps <laughs> and we get better each time we do it. Okay, so what was the first step? We draw an upside down. You. Upside down v. v. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want, you can kind of compare it so that it looks the same. Then we curve the bottoms in. I'm going to curve them so that... They kind of line up down here. Maybe that needs to come down a little further. And we'll do the same on the other side. Curve it in. This one's a little squishier. Mine too. <laughs> okay, then we got that straight line. And then we're gonna draw each strap going smoothly into the side. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. It's tricky. I think this sandal one is actually tricky, even though it might seem easy. Okay, then we gotta draw the other side of the strap. So it's twisting and coming around, it looks 3D. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. If we go too fast and our art friends need more time to finish a step, what can they do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can pause the video. Don't get frustrated if we go too fast. 
curve and connect, and then curve and connect the other side, both sides. Here we go. Now let's draw this little toe part. We're gonna draw two lines that come out of the out of the top. Yeah, then connect those with another curve. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna try to match and make this look the same over here and that's okay <laughs> just practice it's okay if it doesn't okay we're gonna come up like this i'm coming up to the same height and we're gonna curve around and then back in well it doesn't look the same i need more practice too <laughs> like <how we're> <laughs> i love it it's so good you're doing great hadley <laughs> i love it <laughs> this one might be for a duck <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> I almost lost you. You almost fell off the chair. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. We're going to draw the little curve for this inside part. It's okay. Mine don't look the same either. <laughs> it's tricky making things look symmetrical, huh? Whew. We should have just drawn one sandal maybe. <laughs> you know what? You could actually, let's leave this line maybe for a design that's on your flip-flop. Do you want to start oh, here? Yeah. And then you can come down and connect to that part. Okay. That's better. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little maybe I probably should have left that one off too. Then we're gonna draw we gotta draw the <laughs> heel down here. Come back up. There we go. Okay, same size. <laughs> same size, man. My sandals look different too. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're practicing, and the best part about doing art is having fun. Yeah, having fun, and we're—I think we're having too much fun. <laughs> all right, we're, we're all done with our markers. Before we do any more damage, so let's put them down. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna—we need to still do what to our sandals? Color it. Color them. Now we're gonna add a uh, pretty design. We can add all kinds of designs. You could draw flowers on yours, uh, any kind of pattern or design. I might do stripes. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same coloring or just use your imagination and design your sandals any way you want. Yes. You, yes, you ready to fast forward? Let's do it. All right, Ellie, we did it, we finished coloring our sandals and they look so much better colored in and I love the little pattern that you chose. You did stripes. What colors did you use? Blue, blue, purple, and pink. Pink for the straps. I use pink also and blue for the stripes. Now I also used the dark blue for the shadow to make them look more 3D. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. It's okay that our drawings look different, right? Yes. You can be super proud of your drawing because the most important thing is to have fun. Have fun and to practice. Practice. Now we're not completely done, right? Because <laughs> what time is it? Challenge time. Challenge time. What should we challenge our friends to do? To finish their drawings. To add a background. Add a background. What should the background be? Sand. Sand? That makes sense because usually you wear flip-flops at the beach. <laughs> you can draw sand, you could also draw, maybe these flip-flops are at the side of the pool. You could even draw suntan lotion. Oh yeah. Other things that you would have if you were at the beach. All right, does that sound like a cool challenge? Mm -hmm. We hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.